Hi, it's Matthijs from uh, The Nuclear Humanist. And today we have another doozy at uh, France 24. Storage of nuclear waste, a global crisis report. Now, it's not too uh, surprising if I tell you that this is a report by Greenpeace. So the question is, should we take it seriously? Well, since they are misinforming the public and reaching the public through these kinds of uh, uh, articles, it's necessary for us to, you know, push back. Now, just look at how this is framed. Nuclear waste is piling up around the world, even as countries struggle to dispose of spent fuel that will remain highly toxic for many thousands of years, Greenpeace detailed in a report Wednesday. An analysis of waste storage facilities in seven countries with nuclear power revealed that several were near saturation, the anti-nuclear NGO said. All these nations are also confronted oh, all these nations also confronted other problems that have yet to be fully contained fire risk, venting of radioactive gases, environmental contamination, failure, failure of containers and terrorist attacks and escalating costs. So, yeah, basically, this is a hack job. Currently, there is a global stockpile of around 250,000 tons of highly radioactive spent fuel distributed across some 14 countries. Well, at some point, we are going to have about 12 million tons of, you know, radioactive spent fuel. If we use everything, you know, that's going to be that. <clears throat> so the 100-page report compiled by a panel of experts dissected shortcomings in the management of voluminous waste in France, which has the second largest nuclear fleet, 58, after the United States, about 100. There is no credible solution for long-term safe disposal of nuclear waste in France. And this is, you know, this is just a political quagmire. Anytime people are trying to dispose of nuclear waste, put it into some kind of a cave somewhere, people are going to protest. And once people are going to protest, that's bad publicity for people who endorse it. So naturally, this is like a hot potato that is being, you know, tossed around and people are trying to say, well, we don't want to do anything with it because it's a, uh, yeah, it's, it's an issue that we don't want to address because otherwise it will be my head on the cho chopping block. But it's, it's my contention, me, Matthias Backus, that we don't need to dispose of anything. I mean, we need to recycle as much radioactive isotopes as we can. Now, the first thing to note here is that they are not talking about dry cask storage. They are talking about wet storage. Wet storage is only temporary. Dry cask storage is also temporary, but I think it's more elegant. And you can see it in the pictures right here. I mean, look at it. It's just concrete silos, concrete cylinders standing on a slab of concrete or, I don't know, asphalt or something like that. People can walk up to them. There's nothing wrong with it. And it's, why is it elegant? Because... It doesn't need it doesn't need very lot it doesn't need a lot of maintenance. You don't really have to, you know, take care of it. You can you can you can monitor your casks health and you can monitor what's happening inside of these casks. But other than that, I mean it's just inert. It just sits there. It does nothing. I mean, here's a guy 
walking past one of them. I mean, you don't need very expensive machinery to, to toss them around. I mean, this is just a, a glorified tractor with a, with a winch. So, no, I, I, I think this is the future. The future is dry cask storage. I believe that all, all, and I mean every single nuclear power plant that makes use of solid fuel should use dry cask storage in order to keep the fuel and make it retrievable for the future. I mean, it's not that hard. When can we make people wake up to the reality that if you look at, for instance, Diablo Canyon here, which is my favorite nuclear power plant that's being operated by friends of mine, this is the power plant. In itself, it's not really big. I mean, of course, it's a large building, but if you consider it against the backdrop of the nature reserve, which is next to it, Diablo Canyon is tiny. Now, all of its all of its fuel will end up here on this parking lot right here. Now, as you can see, there's a lot of circles that are empty. There's no spent fuel there. But this entire facility here has been designed for to keep all the fuel that will be used in the lifetime of this power plant. So this is it. This is it. And if we would build another nuclear reactor in its place, we could basically add another one of these parking lots over here or over here. I don't know. Well, this is mountainous terrain, so that's perhaps a little bit difficult. But in any case, this is the future. This is as simple as it gets. I mean, it doesn't take up a lot of space. It's easy to manage. And once we can get to it, we need it for other purposes. We can get to it. Here we have uh, Point Le Pro in, Fr in uh, France, I say, in Canada. So it's a single unit reactor, as you can see, and its spent nuclear fuel is stored here. Just, you know, in the open, on a, on a tarmac, or what you want to call it. And, you know, it, it doesn't harm anybody. Here's a house. This is uh, a repository in Germany. It's a neat little building. Let's see if I can, what, what we can see if I uh, Google it. A house, a house, uh, dry cask. Because it's, it's, one of those, it's one of those halls. It's a hall and, and, and there's pictures of it. I believe this is it. I don't, I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, looks like it. So it's, it's just the hole. So the Germans already over-engineered it. I mean, look at it. And sometimes, and these things are also semi-fortified and such. I mean, yeah. And here is one of, one of here is one of the old RBMK uh, reactors from the former Soviet Union, you know, akin to uh, Chernobyl, which went wrong. And they store all the spent fuel that comes out of this thing will eventually end up here. I mean, look at it. It's tiny. It's easily managed. Doesn't need to cost a lot of money. So it is my contention that people are creating a problem out of this that is absolutely unnecessary. And, you know, if you'll... If you look at, for instance, these pictures here, I mean, this might not even have to do anything with nuclear waste. I mean, it's just a pile of sand at, at the beginning of a tunnel somewhere. I mean, this could be anywhere. This could be for any purpose. Might be Yucca Mountain. I don't know. Doesn't say. It says, Greenpeace says, it's analysis of waste storage facilities in seven countries with nuclear power revealed several were near saturation so why there's a pile of sand around here i don't know but this just you know this is just fud this is unfounded fear-mongering i mean look at it it's it it just sits there it does nothing 
and I don't know. Let's see if we can find another reactor. So if we go south, we get songs. Let's see Santa Barbara, San Diego, somewhere between San Diego and Los Angeles, San Clemente. Uh, there it is. Here it is. San Onofre. So they've chosen a, a slightly more complex route so they have spent nuclear fuel on these things and in here i believe if i'm not mistaken these are insert these are inserted horizontally these are inserted vertically so yeah um, people are creating a problem that is actually not there i don't believe that it is a problem let's see if we can find indian point quickly stony point Okay, so here we have Indian Point, which is near New York. Um, and as you can see, these are its dry cask storage containers. I mean, there's plenty of room to uh, create another slab and start storing more. I mean, it's not a problem to expand this this way or that way. I don't know. But uh, yeah, people are creating problems where there are none. So... Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. In any case, um, uh, let's see if they accept comments. No, there are no comments here. Is there a Facebook page? Is this shared to Facebook or is this no? Is this shared to pay Facebook? I'm not going to share this. Uh, in any case, I will leave the links to all I've shown you today in the description below. Um, be mindful of these kinds of, you know, articles they're trying to mislead people and we need to push back thank you all for watching have a nice day bye bye